Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Bent Metal Binding Works Transfer. Right here, their workhorse binding. I rode this binding at Loveland Ski Area in the preseason, a little bit later in the day, so sunny bluebird, warmer temps, chunder, chop, slush, and everything in between, and I used my K2 Thraxxus boots and my Rome Warden snowboard. All right, so let's get right into it. For adjustability, you got flip cams on the toe and the heel for lengthening or shortening the strap. You can adjust the heel cup, but the screws are attached through the high back, so that's also your high back rotation, but it's also how you lengthen the heel cup to help center the binding. And you do have your drive plate as well, which these are interchangeable amongst the bindings. Overall, Pretty standard adjustments. You do have the drop down pins as well for placement of your toe straps. At this point, it's just standard adjustments. That's really where we're at on everything. The one cool thing that these do retain from the old bent metal bindings is the forward lean block. So where the block sits is how much forward lean you have. So there is an excessive amount. And then you turn it and there's none. So that's what we've got for adjustability. For straps, you got that normal rubber nylon composite, very minimal. They're just designed to contour, not take up a lot of space, not create pinch points, just wrap right around the instep and over the toe box of the boot. This actually grips really well on just about any boot shape, in my opinion, just the way it is. The heel strap, once you have it centered, you're good to go. That's really it with straps. They do their job. There's no real pressure points. They contour around. They're not bulky. What more can you ask for, honestly? So overall, the ratchets are pretty solid. They're pretty standard. The one thing I don't like with the toe is it doesn't have the one finger quick release. You do have to push down, whereas the heel has the one finger quick release. I did have one issue with the back foot just not feeding the ladder in. It wouldn't climb right. Sometimes you had to just pay a little more attention. But overall, these ratchets, they climb well. They do what you need them to do. There's really not much more to it than that. With the high back, you got good shaping to the binding. It cups the back spine of the boot. You got like a slight little wing that you can push into. It's not the stiffest. It's not the softest binding out there. It's enough for just being a true workhorse if you really want. And as I mentioned earlier, you do have that forward lean block for adjusting your forward lean so you can really get that dialed in. You basically have four different positions. I think if you go into the fourth position, that's basically overkill, but hey, I don't believe in forward lean. The overall flex of this binding is on the stiffer side. There is power in there, and that's actually what I really like about it, was when you really drive into it, you don't feel like you're just mushing through. You feel that power in there. It gives you optimal response. It's a binding that you can really push into, but it's not so overkill that you're like working all the time just to get any response out of it. And if you still wanna play around and butter, you can do that as well. Plus you have the drive plate, which if you feel that this one's too stiff, you can always swap it out for one of their other ones that is softer, or I believe they actually have one that is above this in the Core Pro that is definitely stiffer. So yeah, more adjustability basically. What I liked about the ride of this binding is it does such a good job of dampening micro vibrations, but it doesn't deaden it. You still get that lively feel underfoot, you're just not dealing with that micro fatigue that just emanates in your feet, through your ankles, to your knees, the stuff that just makes you tired mid to end of the day. It does a really good job with it. As I said, this is a binding that you can be powerful with, but still laid back when you want to, and that's just how it rides. So who is this binding for? It's for the all mountain guy that's gonna do a little bit of everything. Overall, this is a really solid, straightforward binding with its adjustability and how it performs. You look at it, you know what you're gonna get. My only real gripe with it is one, that ratchet wasn't feeding right. Could have been user error, although I tend to believe that it was actually the fact that these are samples. The other thing is how the screw for the heel strap is also what holds the heel cup and high back in. Those tend to vibrate and loosen up and then they lose some of their power, just like this. You see how it's dropping like that? 
yeah. That basically happens. That's my only other gripe. Otherwise, pretty solid binding, and you can do anything you want with it. This has been my review of the Bent Metal Transfer. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you going to buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really want to support us and just see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.